In today's video tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to edit this video from start to finish on the editing app InShot. InShot is an editing app that you can download on either your Apple phone or your Android phone. And I'm going to teach you how to edit this video while also using all of the equipment that I've shown you all in the last few weeks in my tips on how to produce videos at home. So for those of you that didn't watch my video last week or haven't been watching my tips, here's the equipment that I'm using. Here's the Movo mic that I've been using. I purchased this Movo mic from Walmart for $20 and it plugs into your phone. Depending on the type of phone you have and how old it is, you'll probably need an adapter. This is the iPhone adapter, the lightning bolt one, where you can plug in your mic or a headphones. Um, I'm using my $15 Joby tripod. And since it wasn't high enough, I just added a storage bin to bring the phone to where it would be eye level with me. And I've got my selfie ring light today because it's kind of a cloudy day and I wasn't sure if I was gonna get enough light, but I ended up not being able to need it because I have these windows here, which I always recommend shooting in front of windows so that they're facing you and giving you great natural light. So all of this very inexpensive equipment can help you produce your own videos. So let's go ahead and select InShot to edit our video. InShot is an editing app that you can download for both iPhone and Android. Select video, and then we're gonna select the clips that we want to edit in the order we want them in our video. So not necessarily the order you shot them in. So here they're in a different order, but I want them in this order. So that's how I will select them. And then I'll press the check mark down here at the bottom. All right, so here's my timeline. As you can see, my intro clip is there, my middle clip, and then my outro clip. All right, let's go ahead and double check, make sure that's right. In today's video tutorial, I'm... Yes, that's my intro clip. All right, so this down here is your timeline. And I'm just moving this timeline, these clips with my finger. And of course, right up here, you can see all the different settings and options that you have to edit a video in InShot. And InShot can be a little more in depth or it could be very basic, just depending on the level of purchase that you um, select for the app. I went ahead and purchased the app so that I could edit videos on my phone. They have a free version, they have a paid version, and then they have a pro version. So it's completely up to you depending on the level of editing that you're going to be doing. All right, so let's start with these settings. Right here, the first one is Canvas. Let's go ahead and just tap on that with our finger. Now Canvas is basically where what you want your video to end up as far as the ratio. So they have different ratios already for you to pre-select right here. We're gonna go ahead and go with 16 by nine because we're gonna be placing our video on YouTube and that's the best ratio for this video. But as you can see, they have other options here. So 16 and nine, we're gonna press the check mark and that's what we already had, so that's what we'll use. So as you can see all these other settings, we've got music so that you could add some stock music track. We've got stickers, which are really cute because you have these little animated little kind of gifs. It's got emojis, it's got all kinds of different what they call stickers on here that you can use in your video. All right, right now we're not going to use those. They have text so that you can add some text to your video. We've got filter, which is different filters for your video. Pre-cut, that's editing the video, whether you want to take out some parts, trim it, what have you. And then split, if you want to just split the video. Delete, delete a clip. Volume is the volume of your video. Let's say you shot something outside and you don't like to hear, you know, the birds or someone's mowing their yard or the wind or something. Volume will allow you to turn the volume down for that specific clip. Speed, let's say you want to do slow-mo or speed up a clip. Duplicate is just duplicating your clip. Rotate, rotating the ratio like that, but we don't want to do that. Freeze, reverse, again, all of these are for speed and different settings for your clip. But today we're just going to do a simple edit on this video. All right, so let's go ahead and select this first clip. And obviously we're going to want to trim it. So as you can see, when you tap on a clip, 
it gets surrounded by this white border. And then there's a white kind of tab at the beginning and you'll see that tab at the end. That's gonna be the tab that you use to drag and clip your video from the beginning and the end. So let's go ahead and listen to what I say. In today's video tutorial, all right, so obviously we want to clip the beginning where I'm pressing the record button and sitting back and adjusting. So let's tap on that tab at the beginning, the white tab, and we'll just scroll up until the point where I start speaking. But let's stop more towards the beginning right there. In today's video tutorial, great, okay. So then let's do that with the end. So we'll play it here. This video's at home. All right, so obviously I wanna take out that part. So again, we'll select the clip. It'll be surrounded by that white border and that white tab at the end will be there as well. So let's bring that forward and we'll stop when I stop speaking and end with a smile. So right about there looks good. All right, so now I'm just gonna tap on regular black space right here on the screen just to deselect the clip. Let's play it. On how to produce videos at home. So for those, all right, so that transitioned pretty good. Now you see this little white box right here. That's where you can choose a transition. And a transition is basically just what it sounds like. It's the effect of transition that you choose to transition from one clip to the next. So right now we don't have anything. So we're gonna go ahead and tap on that white box. And InShot has several different options for transitions. Again, this is the paid version. In the free version, they might have less, but we're gonna go ahead and choose a basic one anyway that will be in the free version. So let's go ahead and choose videos dissolve. at home. So videos at home. So videos at home. So when you choose a selection in InShot, it shows you how it's gonna look before you go ahead and press that check mark to add that effect. Let's go ahead and just look at another one. This one is light. This videos at home. So for the this videos at home. So for the videos at home. All right, so it shows you before you select it what you're gonna end up with. So again, we're just gonna do videos at home. regular dissolve, okay? And let's see how that transitions. Videos at home. So for those of you that didn't watch my Okay, so that transitioned pretty good. This clip, I know that I don't have to trim because I know that I shot it in one take. So let's go ahead and just move on towards the end of the video right here. And there's another transition. So there's another clip right here. Let's go ahead and see how those transition into each other and see if we have to trim the end or the beginning of that outro clip. Let's go a little farther back equipment can help you produce your own videos okay so the ending of that middle clip is fine but the beginning of this last clip I'm reaching out to press the record button so let's change that we tap on the clip again it's surrounded by that white border we see that white tab at the beginning and that's what we're gonna tap on to trim it right up until the point where I start speaking right there. So let's see, I'm tapping on this black space here. Let's see how that looks. Produce your own videos. I hope you enjoyed this video too. Great, that looks good. Let's see how the ending is. Own videos. Okay, so we wanna take out that ending part as well. Again, you tap on the clip, see that white bar at the end, and we wanna trim it up until the point where I stop speaking and I smile right there. Okay, so let's see how that all works out. Videos. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. Keep an eye out in the coming weeks for more videos about video production at home and leave a comment below if there's anything else you'd like to learn about producing your own videos. Great, okay. So let's go ahead and change this transition as well so it'll match the previous transition. So again, it's this little white box between the two clips. We'll tap on it and we will select videos. dissolve. I hope you enjoyed this video. Videos. I hope you enjoyed this video. Videos. I hope you enjoyed. So again, it shows you what you want to do. Let's tap videos. that one. I hope you enjoyed. Press the check mark 
And there is the transition. You produce your own videos. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. Great. All right, so we've trimmed our clips and we've added the transitions we want. Let's go ahead and add some titling. I didn't introduce myself at the beginning, so we're just going to go ahead and add my title with some text. So we're going to select the T and wherever your little timeline is, that's where the text is going to be selected. So if you wanted to come in at the beginning, you want to move your timeline to the front and then tap on the T. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and type my name. And there's really not nothing special about adding text here. We're just typing. So the text box, though, starts in the middle. So if you want to move it, you just tap on it with your finger. And you see these lines it's giving you. So that that's InShot telling you that it's centered there. Move to the left, it's centered there. But we're going to want it towards the bottom. And we're going to want it here towards the left because it'll be kind of long. And then you see these little arrows right here that are going uh, diagonal that's going to be the sizing of your title. So you're just going to tap that to change the size of your title. All right, so we're going to keep going with my title. All right, so obviously that was a little too big and too long, so we're just going to keep resizing that till we get it right. There we go. Okay, so now you see these different options here. Obviously, you can change the color of the text. You can change the font if you want something a little different. We're going to go ahead and go back to just the generic system and the white. All right, and then you see this little effect moving up and down diagonally over here on the right next to the font. So let's go ahead and select that. That is, again, a transition of how your text will come in and come out. So let's choose Dissolve. And it'll kind of show you in a, on a loop how the, video, how the text will come in and out. See how it just kind of fades in and out? And you can extend that to be a longer fade. Or you can shorten it to a much shorter fade. All right? So we're going to make it a little longer. And then... We want that to be the same way it comes in. We want it to come out. So check mark on the in. Okay. And that's how it's going to come out. All right. So as you can see, the text is right at the beginning. And it's going to go as far as I want it to go. So the same way that you trim the clip, you're going to trim the text. So it's surround when you select when you select the text, it's going to be surrounded by that white border, and you're going to extend it or shorten it. So let's go ahead and I think right about there. Let's see how that looks. Press the check mark and play. In today's video tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to edit this video from start to finish. All right, that looks good. So let's go ahead and add text to the end because you want some sort of call to action perhaps a phone number or a website that you want your uh, consumer to go to. So we want to go ahead and go to the end, which is where we want the text to come in. Again, wherever that white timeline is, that's where you're going to want to place. That's where you're going to want to select so that your text goes where that timeline is. So I've moved it to the beginning of my last clip. So when I press text, it's going to be added to that one part right there. Okay, so I'm going to have you guys go to youtube.com slash H-A-R-T-V. That's my call to action because I want you to go look at my YouTube channel whenever you're done watching this video. So we're going to center it. Again, you can move it up, down, left, right, wherever you want it. But we're just going to do center just like we did that other title. Press the check mark, and there it is. Now, for this one, I want it to go all the way to the end. So I'm just going to select that white bar at the end and bring it to the end of the timeline. So it'll come out just like the other one did. All right, let's see how that looks. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. Keep an eye out in the coming weeks for more videos about... Okay, that's good. Now let's go ahead and add some music. So again, we're going to go to the beginning of the timeline. 
because that's where we're going to want the music to start. So let's go ahead and select the little musical note for music. And let's select tracks. So InShot has a lot of different options for music, but what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to download the songs before you can import them into your video. So let's look at this uh, first album. Okay, so we see a lot of different options here. And when you select a song, you'll see that it says use. That means I've already downloaded that song. But let's go down and look at one that I haven't, like youth. And you'll see that little cloud download button. So that means you have to download it and then you'll get that use button over here. So let's go ahead and use the walk song. Use, and it will add it to your timeline. So you wanna make sure that it goes through the whole timeline, doesn't get cut off or doesn't go on any longer. Okay, so the song is longer than the video. So let's go ahead and just select that song, see how it's surrounded by the white border, and we'll split it. And then we're gonna delete that last portion because our video isn't that long and we don't want the song to go, to keep going. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and see what that sounds like. In today's video tutorial, so that's a little loud. We want it to be background music. We don't want it to overpower our audio. So we'll go ahead and select walk the song and then we'll select volume and it allows you to bring it down to just a more subtle sound. And then we're gonna choose the song to fade in and to fade out. And then we'll press the check mark. And let's see what that sounds like. In today's video tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to edit this video from start to finish on the... All right, so you can hear it in the background, but you can hear my voice much clearer. So that's really what we want. We're going to go ahead and press the check mark. And let's double check to see if that looks good. In today's video tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to edit this video from start to finish on the editing app InShot. All right, so the song goes through. I haven't been watching my tips. Here's the equipment that I'm using. All right, so you can hear the song there. Keep an eye out in the coming weeks for more videos. Of All right, so you can hear it everywhere. So that's the basic editing in InShot. Now I'm gonna add one more thing to this because it's included in the version that I purchased um, and that's a sticker. So let's go ahead and take a look at the stickers here. And let's look at, you know, we are created a vi creating a video, so let's choose one that's animated. So let's see, let's scroll down. Ah, so we have a subscribe button, which at the end of the video, I'm asking you to go and subscribe to my YouTube channel. So this would be a good one to add to my video. Or if you want people to go to your website, you know, you can tap on the search. Or if you want people to go to your Facebook, you can tap on the like. So there's a lot of different options and it's just one additional thing that you can add to your video. So let's go ahead and press check for the subscribe button. And let's see what that looks like. If you enjoyed this video tutorial, keep an eye out in the coming weeks for more. Okay, so as you can see, it's just like a little animated sticker that you can add to the video and you would extend it or shorten it the same way you would do all of the other clips that I've shown you. So let's go ahead and extend it all the way to the end here. And let's see about producing your own videos. All right, let's go ahead and bring it in a little more. Goes. Okay, and we're done. So all you have to do is come up to this share button at the top, the little arrow, and tap that and save. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. Keep an eye out in the coming weeks for more videos about video production at home and leave a comment below if there's anything else you'd like to learn about producing your own videos.